Today I want to continue my printing series from Copenhagen and today I will make a mixture of 120 film and 35 millimeter film and also I will ship and deliver some prints from my store so let's go to the prints first and next just let's go to the darkroom. I'm still not sure about the storage of my photos and probably in future I should prepare the prints already for shipment and probably make something with the framing. I always want to make the Pesper too, but unfortunately at the moment I never try to do it. I always sign my prints and I usually make a numbering uh, from prints to 10 because first of all I don't want to print my old work forever and secondly it gives me personal value of each print what I deliver and ship. And in the modern world of social media, the thousands of subscribers actually doesn't mean anything. But for me, every print and every person who actually purchases it, it's a part of my history and part of my work. But honestly, I'm still quite surprised that I'm selling the prints. So thank everyone who actually participated in the project. So let's continue with my darkroom, unpack the enlarger and clean up a little bit from the dust. I do it time to time with this hairy brush. And it helps really with the containing the printing place without the dust. But honestly, my working place in future in my darkroom will be a clean room because it's allow you to remove all the problems with the dust particles and storage of the negatives. And if it's not only your craft and you can deliver something special, I think it's valuable for most of the people. So let's start my cine still and put it up to 36 degrees. And let's start with the negative from 120 film from my Hasselblad 501C and this is the last frame from this roll of film. So I have a one more roll, unfortunately it's with the defects, so it's not full 12 shots on this roll, but for now let's print this first frame and check if we have a time for 35mm film also. After loading the film I need to replace my lens from 50 to 80mm to print 120 film. At the moment I store lenses on the board, so it's a quick process to start printing from 35mm and 120 and this is why I like this larger more than the options what I can buy on the market. So let's focus on the picture and check if they have a sharpness and I hope the exposure on this picture is quite right. So I will start with the f11 and make a calibration with the diffuse filter and set up my initial settings on the photo head dial. Starting with the cyan channel, I'm searching for the maximum intensity and adjust my exposure with the cyan channel knob and repeat the operation for rest of the channels. So I land on these settings and the picture should be more or less a yellowish color. So let's start with the test prints. And because the night prints usually tricky to make, I try to stick with the bigger prints as a first print. I already see changes on the color of my color developer. So it means the color developer almost done, so I need to replace the chemistry. And as you saw, it's development number 36. And this is about the right amount of developments what I can run with my drum. And because it's a process of two steps with the 35 seconds, usually I have problems with the chemistry only with the color developer. And a bleach fix actually can run longer. But because you're buying the kit with a color developer and the bleach fix in the same time, it's just much easier to replace both of the chemicals in the same time. So let's quickly wash our prints and dry it on the wall and inspect what we have as our first test prints and which adjustments I want to make. The first thing what I notice, the print is actually too bright for the night and you cannot really judge with the color balance on this print just because it's a bit overexposed so it means we need to open up the aperture and check if we can fix initial settings and make more density on the print. I will use a test printer and a small piece of paper and run exposure steps with just 10 seconds and opening the aperture for half stops. I think we need around like one stop of light to open up but it's always a good idea to make a test print corrections because you can refer in future 
And when you see the picture in the final state, you can also make adjustments and step up with the color corrections or exposure corrections. So on the wet print, you can see only four prints. So I skip the exposure number one, what I have from the test print and just make a half stop from initial state. So it means my first one is a half stop from the F11 and this is F8. And because I more or less like the color balance, I just want to print the bigger prints on F8 and understand which corrections of color I need to make. Usually if it's a complex lighting, it's much better to waste one big piece of paper and make a good analysis for the next steps because sometimes the small steps make a big difference. And for example, on this print, I already see on a wet print, it's a little bit warm, but this is, I think, not a real problem because it was really warm lighting in this picture. And I still wanna contain this warmth of the picture and the Christmas lights and the overall mood of the long exposure. And on this picture, I even have a details in the sky and it's not completely dark. So let's open up the aperture half stop more and make additional prints and just compare what I feel as a taste of the picture. And I think it should be a little bit darker. So after a quick wash, we can compare two prints, but I already see on the wet one, it looks and feels much more natural and have this night contrast. And I print this print in complete darkness without the safe light. And I anyway see the fogging of the paper on the left side a little bit. And I think it's again the problem with the paper itself. And I don't really like the supplement of the Array 4 paper in Europe. Unfortunately, it reduced the quality of my prints, so I need to do something in future with this. And probably the good idea just buy directly the full roll of Array 4 paper. So let's analyze our steps, what I make for correct this print. And this is my first print. As you can see, the building looks too white and too bright, but I have a lot of details in shadows and the sky looks a bit gray. It's not bad with the color balance for test prints, but let's move on with my corrections. So I make a four exposures and I have a half stop increment and I choose the F8 as a next exposure. And I print from there the full scale print with the F8 with the exactly the same color settings. Nevertheless, I have a lot of details in this picture and it looks yellowish a little bit. So in reality, you can correct this exposure and reduce the yellow one more and make it look a little bit more like a digital photo. But in this case, you more correct for the white balance and not really correcting for color cast from your development. So I decided to make picture a little bit darker. And as you can see, it's exactly the same settings but the color of the sky and color of the building doesn't really look the same anymore. Nevertheless, the color balance is the same, but exposure changed the appearance of the yellow. And now it doesn't really look so dominant yellowish reddish color. It looks more like a night photo. And here especially you can see on the Christmas tree, I don't lose any details and I have all the lights and at the same time, because it was a long exposure, I have all the shadow details and even the sky details. And once again, it's really important to have a test print because here you can clearly see this is my half stop increment and I already know what like. So I don't need a guess. I just have a data before and I just implement this data in the final print. And unfortunately today, I don't have a time for 35 millimeter prints. So next time I will print something interesting from my previous collections. And as always, you can find the physical prints from this video on my web shop. And thank you for watching and for supporting my channel. See you in the next videos.